welcome to Islamabad in Pakistan. Last time I was here, it was for a very short period of time. It was during COVID and I had an overnight connection here. I couldn't leave the hotel, but I did swear when I came there before that I would come back and visit Islamabad again because it is just such an incredible city. And um, well, here we are. So today we're going to be taking a flight up to the most dangerous airport in the whole of Pakistan. My first stop today was to Islamabad airport, which is about 30 minutes drive away from downtown Islamabad. All right, then we are flying on PIA today to a place called Skardu in Baltistan in the north of Pakistan. So let's go and um, get checked in for our ride up to the mountains. I headed through the airport and got myself checked in for my flight up to Skardu, but unfortunately there was a bit of a problem. All right, then checked in for me outbound flight at least. It's a bit of an issue here, you see, because I was supposed to be there overnight tonight, come back tomorrow, but unfortunately there's a snowstorm waving in tonight over to Skardu, which means the flights tomorrow aren't gonna go. So I've got to do a quick turn there and back. I was hoping that I might've been able to check in for the return leg here in Islamabad and just basically get off the plane and get back on. Um, but it seems that she couldn't do that. So I'm gonna have to do it up there. So fingers crossed, I can actually get a, um, a boarding pass when I get up to Skardu. It's gonna be cutting it very close though. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. With less than one hour between my flights in Skardu, I simply had no idea whether or not boarding this flight would result in me being stuck up in the mountains. The flight will be operated by the same aircraft both ways, but small airports like Skardu have no facilities for connecting flights, and I'd got no idea whether checking for the return flight would still even be open by the time I'd gone out of the airport and back in again. PIA, or Pakistan International Airlines, are the flag carrier of Pakistan. They have an interesting safety record, having crashed one of their A320s, the same type I'm flying today, in Karachi in 2020. The crew accidentally landed the plane without extending the landing gear, resulting in a belly landing. When they hit the runway, they attempted to do a go around, but with the damage sustained to the aircraft, this unfortunately resulted in the aircraft crashing on the go around with the loss of all but two people on board and one person on the ground. After this crash, the investigators found almost a quarter of PIA's pilots held either bogus or suspicious licenses, and as a result, they were banned from flying to the US, the UK and Europe. At the time of making this video, they remain banned to this day. With all that in the back of my mind, it was time to board my PIA flight to Skardu, the most dangerous airport in the whole of Pakistan. All right then, here goes. Let's go and get on board the plane up to the most dangerous airport in Pakistan. Hello, Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Right there, second one. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, welcome on board the PIA A320. It's going to take us up to Skardu. This is a plane that was originally flown by MEA, Middle East Airlines. It's still in a hybrid livery. They've not had it long here at PIA. So the seats are the MEA seats. I think the PIA A320s have. Um, more like an American first class setup with a two and a two, but this is a 3-3 um, three, three with the middle seat blocked off. But there is a lot of leg room, look at this. I mean, I'm 6'4", that's very comfortable. For an hour long flight as well, and you even get pillows as well. PIA pillows, P P L O S. PLOs, PIA PLOs. Um, it's about an hour long ride up to Skardu today. Um, really, really looking forward to this flight. It's somewhere I've wanted to go for absolutely ages. Um, so it's going to be fun to see what it's like. O also hoping that I'll be able to get back again. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm sure it'll be fine. I was surprised that even on domestic flights here in Pakistan, PIA give you a pre takeoff drink. I just went for a glass of apple juice today, but it was a really nice touch. So the cabin crew on this flight are absolutely lovely. Um, just been chatting to them about my um, predicament with the short connection up in a scar do, um, which kind of baffled them a bit. They're like, what, really? You're coming back after one hour? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but why? But why? And I'm like, because this is what I do. <laughs> That's quite funny. Um, I, um, but um, she did say that I should be able to just go through and connect straight through. Hopefully there's enough time up there to do that. Um, to go through and get my boarding pass to come back to Islamabad. So we'll see when we get up there. There's only one way to find out. Got to take a risk every now and then, haven't you? So, um... <laughs> 
Before too long, the jet bridge was disconnected and it was time to get on our way to Skardu in the Himalayas. I was a little bit surprised as we were holding short for takeoff when a plane took off in the complete opposite direction using the opposite end of the runway. I did speak to the crew later in the flight though about this and asked them this question and they told me that it was because this runway allows them to go on a direct path up to Skardu instead of having to do a U-turn after takeoff. from Islamabad heading north Welcome into the... Right then airborne from Islamabad then heading north into the Himalayas. Um, so cool, been looking forward to this flight for so long. We've got about a 45 minute ride today up to Skardu, um, which has a really cool and interesting approach and landing because it, with it being right tucked up high in the mountains, it's a kind of a weaving through the valleys and mountains, passes and things um, sort of approach into Skardu. It's really, really tricky and pilots need special training to be able to land there. Um, so this is going to be super, super cool. Um, looking forward to seeing it and also looking forward to seeing the beautiful scenery that we've got up there in Baltistan. Um, it's something I've been wanting to see for absolutely ages. But um, yeah, we've got about a 45 minute ride today. So I'm just going to sit back and relax and enjoy the views um, over Pakistan. Such an amazing country. Here's a quick reminder to follow me on Instagram where I live vlog all of my trips in real time through Instagram stories. You can follow me at noelphillips.official on Instagram. Right, so this is a 45 minute flight up to Skardu. Look at the meal that we got, just got served. So we've got like sausage and something there, a bit of cake and a bit of a sarnie as well. So um, we'll give that a go, see what that's like. Oh, my first view of the mountain is just coming into view out the window, look at that. Incredible. As I sat and chomped on my sausage, I sat back to watch the beautiful scenery of Gilgit Baltistan appear outside the window. Skardu Airport is located over 7,000 feet up in the Himalayas in the Gilgit Baltistan region of Pakistan. The airport is situated in a valley with sheer cliffs on either side. To land at the airport, flights have to do a circling approach down to the airport to land. Pilots need special training just to be able to land here and my captain today is one of PIA's most senior pilots. We'll talk about that more later in the video. Approaches to the airport are visual only with no instrument approaches so the weather has to be clear for the aircraft to land there. Alright then we have started our descent down into Skardu. The mountains just outside the window we're about to weave down into the mountains between all of those massive peaks that are down there so um, yeah. Here we go. I brushed up on the safety procedures, you know, just in case, and um, sat back to enjoy the beautiful views as we started our descent down into Skardu. The scenery in this part of the world really is simply breathtaking. Honestly, it's one of the most beautiful areas of the world I've ever flown in. And here's the thing, it just kept getting better and better as we dipped below the ridge line to begin our final approach down into Skardu. My eyes were glued to the window. After a few minutes descending between the mountains, the magnificent Indus Valley opened up beneath us and we got our first glimpse of Skardu Airport. When you look at the airport from this angle, you really can see just how tricky this approach is for the pilots. If you look closely at the airport from this view, you can see the old runway right up close against the mountains. They've actually built a new runway further away from the mountains so that they can eventually get an instrument approach here and hopefully start international flights into Skardu. Yeah. 
As I sat transfixed by the view out of the window, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing all at the same time. I'd got desert underneath me, a beautiful turquoise lake just beyond, and then in the background, beautiful, rocky, snow-capped peaks. It really was a sight to behold. Yes. And then finally, as we landed at the airport, a sad reminder of reality, with the military bunkers at the airport reminding me of the disputed nature of this absolutely stunning part of Pakistan. We parked up on this remote stand, which as I was about to find out, was quite some distance from where we actually needed to be. Thank you, see you soon. <laughs> As I stepped off the aircraft, I had a tear in my eye as I looked around and just tried to soak in the magnificence of where I was standing. Like so many other beautiful parts of the world, the camera does this no justice whatsoever. When you're stood there surrounded by mountains reaching up high into the sky, it really does take your breath away. And then welcome to Skardu, 7,000 feet up here in the Himalayas. Wow, what an approach that was. Look at where we are. We've got desert, we've got water, we've got mountains all together. High up in the Himalayas, incredible. Wow. I made the long trek across to the bus and as I looked around there was absolutely no terminal building in sight. I just had no idea how far away we were from the actual airport. <laughs> yes. High speed. <laughs> Takes you everywhere you want to go. Three kilometers. Wow. Wow. Because they have a new runway, right? Yes, yeah. We land in Abbottabad and drive to Skardu. Yeah. <laughs> As I stepped off the Skardu metro into the terminal building here, I only had one more concern. Would I have enough time to get through the airport, check in and back out to the plane before it left again for Islamabad? I'd hoped it would be quite a straightforward connection here, but then as I got through the baggage claim, I noticed I had to register as a foreign citizen into the Gilgit Baltistan region, and I wasn't quite sure how long that was going to take. Passport and visa, yeah. I leave straight away. I take flight back to Islamabad now. So. Thank you. Once I'd registered my arrival into the region, it was time to head out of the arrivals hall and straight to the check-in hall, which caused quite a quizzical response from the guards. Yeah, the departure through here, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I enjoyed Scardu, very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, so straight back to Islamabad. What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Hang on, let me... Do you want to travel? Yes, I travel back to Islamabad. Just no. to come? Just to come, yes. So, so yeah. See the mountains, take pictures and then fly back, yeah. Uh, I can find my... Are you interested? Why do you come just yeah. a few minutes? <laughs> because I want to see the mountains in Skodu Airport. Oh. Beautiful. Have you seen? So, I, yes, yeah, beautiful. I should have stayed overnight tonight, but the weather tomorrow was looking bad. So I, okay. I thought if I come here, at least I can see and then I can go back. So yes. thank you very much. <laughs> The passport. The passport, yes. It's a beautiful part of the world. Beautiful here. This is your first visit? First visit to Baltistan, oh, yeah. A very quick one, very fast one. <laughs> Next time I stay longer. But I like aeroplanes and flying to places like this. Good job. So, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Thank Can you very you much. Go. Thank you. Uh, you have no luggage? No luggage, no, just, just this. So, just one, yeah. It's in my hotel. So. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you. So despite the admittedly confused guards on the way into the terminal, I was back in the check-in hall and now it was crunch time to see whether I was still in time to get the flight back to Islamabad. Hello. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Hopefully I'm in time. <laughs> Thank you. Have you tickets? I have, yes. Have you luggage for tickets? Yeah. No luggage for check-in, just hand, uh, hand baggage only. Yes. So, yeah. uh, once you have a sign, that's it, one F. 
One S, yeah. Okay. Perfect. But if you want to see Nanga Parbat and K2, then you have to sit on one A. Okay. The, all the views is on left window. The views is on the left. One okay. Right is one A free? Is one A available? Can we change? Uh, yes, if that's okay. Yeah. Thank you. That's one I found. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, yes, yes. Punch. Oh, okay, good. Sir. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. So there I was then, all checked in for the quick turn flight back to Islamabad. As you'd expect for quite a small airport like Skardu, there really wasn't much here once you got airside. There's a little snack bar and a shop and a few places to sit before you get on board the flight. All right then, I made it through in time for my flight back to Islamabad. Some very, very quizzical looks from everybody here, like, why would you just come for like one hour? Because why not? This is incredible. It's an absolutely beautiful part of the world. And they've moved me to the other side of the plane on the way back with I had. So I can hopefully get a view of K2, which is the world's second largest mountain. And we hopefully will see that, weather permitting, on the way back down to Islamabad. So it sounds like they're about ready to board. So let's um, get back on the bus and head out to the A320 for a flight back down south to Islamabad. Thank you. Thank you. As I got back on board the Skardu Metro to take me back to the A320, I thought that nothing could make this day any more special than it was already. But as I was about to find out when I got back to the plane, I was wrong. Hello. Go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead, bye. Go ahead. Hello again. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Thank you. How was your Hello again. Your Thank you. Yeah, I made it. All right, I made it back on board. Very short turnaround here. But it proves that you can do it. You can basically land on one plane and take off right on the next one back down to Islamabad. Um, it's a shame I can't spend any longer. I would have loved to have spent tonight here, but um, with the weather closing in, um, it wasn't looking like it was going to clear for another week. So um, I don't really have the time to be stuck up here for a week because um, I've got a lot of other stuff I need to be doing down south. So um, unfortunately for today, this is it for Skardu, but uh, hopefully we'll be back. I mean, you cannot deny that is the most incredible view and this place just absolutely blows my mind just probably the most scenic airports i've ever flown into um probably maybe alongside lucla in nepal but this is just this is in an a320 man this is just <laughs> incredible all right let's head back down to islamabad it was at that point that the lead flight attendant told me my day was about to go from seriously cool to seriously epic it turned out the captain had seen me getting back on the plane and realised that only an Av geek would do something as crazy as going to Skardu and back on the next plane. So to give me a better view on the way back down, I'd been invited to ride back to Islamabad on the flight deck. Thank you very much. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm Noel. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice Hello. to meet you Hi, too. How are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Nice to meet you. What, what I can do is I can offer you this view. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> wow. There's no better gift to an aviation. I, I saw view. you going back. I said you just came in. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I feel. I should have flown. Thank you. Yeah. I should have flown back tomorrow. Okay. Um, but the weather was not looking good, so I oh, thought, well, okay. in any case, I will come here and fly straight back. So. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, sir, uh, yeah. As I took my seat in the jump seat, I just could not believe my look as I sat waiting to take off on the flight deck of an Airbus A320. So where are you from? I'm from UK, but I live in the US now. So, yeah. Now I've been lucky enough to ride on the flight deck quite a few times over the years, but this was the first time I've ever ridden a full flight on the flight deck of anything quite as big as the A320. As we taxied out to the runway here at Skardu, I got my first glimpse of what it looked like from a pilot's perspective trying to take off from this incredible airport. Just look at the terrain that surrounds the runway. We completed our backtrack and lined up ready for takeoff. Somehow the takeoff from Skardu felt even more exciting than the landing had earlier on. 
As you climb out of Skardu, the aircraft has to circle a number of times to get up to altitude before it's high enough to go across the mountains back to Islamabad. Terrain ahead. The views though remained absolutely stunning. And yet again, just when I thought this day could not get any cooler already, Captain Imran sprung one more surprise on me. He coordinated with ATC to do one extra circle of the airport, getting even higher to allow an even better view. So you have to circle over the airport to get out, yeah? Normally we don't, but for you not, today I'm making another extra circle. <laughs> <laughs> really? So that you should see this. Oh wow, thank you. This goes this way, then turns back towards Q2. Ah, okay. Now, because of the terrain in the area, the pilots can't actually contact Islamabad control until they're above a certain altitude. It's at that point that they get clearance to continue their route south to Islamabad. Once we were at cruising altitude, I got the chance to speak to Captain Imran and First Officer Hassan about their history flying for PIA. So how long have you flown for PIA? For me, 27 years. Wow, okay. <laughs> so on 737s, I guess? I flew almost all the aircraft all of in them. PIA except for 747s. Nice, okay. That's incredible. And yourself? Uh, I've flown the ATR, then uh, this is my second aircraft. Perfect, wow. Yeah. Would you prefer this this better, yeah? Yeah, this much better than the ADR. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hopefully moving on to 777. Wow, that would be nice. Just, just yes. Go next month. Yes, wow. I chatted with the crew a little bit about some of the challenges that PIA are facing at the minute. Hopefully soon you'll be able to fly them back to Europe and the US again. Yeah, we hope would be so. nice. We, hope yeah. So, yeah. we have to go to some audits. Yes. The, the EASA is coming next month. Okay. Not actually coming, there'll be an online audit first and then they'll come with it. Nice. Hopefully up to that. Yeah, we'll be that'll be nice. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. After what felt like no time at all, it was soon time to start our descent down towards Islamabad. So when we land, is this your last flight today or? This is the this only is it flight, today. yeah. Just start doing that. Okay, wow. Nice day for you then, nice day out, yeah? <laughs> I got the impression that the crew today enjoyed this little day trip to Skardu almost as much as I had. We started our approach over the beautiful city of Islamabad down into Islamabad International Airport. I did find it interesting that when we were cleared to land, air traffic control asked the crew to verify the landing gear was down and locked as part of their clearance. Five hundred. Hundred above. Three hundred. Minimum two hundred. One hundred. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, retard, retard. So here we were then back in Islamabad after quite possibly the coolest flight I've ever taken in my life. My round trip to Skardu cost me 260 US dollars or about 214 pounds. 
even if I hadn't got the upgrade to the flight deck on the way back, I don't think you can beat that value for money to see some of the most magnificent scenery on the planet. The entire PIA crew was so hospitable for the entire experience. I do also have to mention that the treatment I got on PIA was not because they knew I had a YouTube channel because, well, they didn't. It was a simple act of kindness between aviation geeks and we only chatted about YouTube right at the end of the flight. But it was just one more example of the kindness I was shown throughout my entire trip to Pakistan. This is the third time I have flown with PIA and it's the third time I've been nothing but impressed with their crew and their commitment to customer service. Sure, they've had their challenges over recent years, but they seem really committed to improvement and I wish them only the best as they move forward and with a little bit of luck, get back their reputation as the world-class airline that I know they can be. Thank you so much. It's been lovely yeah. to meet you. I really yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck for the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. You know what? It's days like this where I realise just how lucky I am having the job that I have flying around making videos and things. It's just, just like, how did they get here? This is incredible. You know, and a day like today, having breakfast here in Islamabad. Up to flying up to one of probably one of the most beautiful airports in the world in Skardu and then riding back on the flight deck like that <laughs> to Islamabad and I'm back home in time for tea. Like, what? <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Captain Imran and the crew at PIA for everything. It's been an absolutely amazing day today heading up there and back. I hope you've enjoyed this too. I'm off to go and have some tea now. So, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.